My name is Jason. My name is Caden. I'm Jaden. And I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Tour Channel, and we thank you guys very much for spending a little bit of time tonight. And this is a totally different one because we are doing something the boys have no idea what we're doing. Um, and the dogs are always going to do what they're doing. So, Jaden, you had some guesses. What, what do you think this is going to be about? Uh, I figured we're going to do some kind of contest, maybe, like, see if we, like, knows answer the Bible quiz or something right. Or something of that degree. Yeah, something like <clears throat> that, but we're actually not. So, <clears throat> what we are going to do is I am trying to get some reactions from you guys. And what I'll tell you right out of the gate before we even begin on this is, without a shadow of a doubt, by the time we are done with this video, I will prove creation and that there is a creator. You will walk away knowing that there is a creator in creation because of this video. And so <clears throat> there is a type of a microscope. It is a, it, it's, I, I looked it up. It's a crazy kind of microscope. It's like one of those things that we would never, ever be able to buy. A big scientist company would buy them. And what they've done is they went through um, a whole bunch of different doctors. And um, the whole bunch of different doctors, they went through this and... Scientists and doctors, and I am getting nailed. And I wanted to get some reactions from you guys. So <clears throat> I'll leave a link to this guy's video so everybody can see this. Let's all take a look at this and let's look at this some images of life under a microscope. And I want you guys to get some first reactions of what you guys think you're seeing. Electron microscopes produce images of any samples with stunning clarity and depth of field by scanning it with a focused beam of electrons. Even everyday things look completely different when they are magnified and viewed under one. Here are some incredible images of different things under an electron microscope. Uh. This is the mouth parts of a tick, which consists of three visible components. The two outer jointed parts are highly mobile palps. Between the palps at the center is a rod-shaped structure called the hypostome. The palps do not enter the skin of the host while the tick is feeding, while the hypostome is inserted into the host's skin. The backward pointing projections prevent easy removal of the tick. Okay, so take a look at that. What did we just see? We just saw a tick. We actually have a lot of experience with ticks around here. Because ticks aren't everything. They end up on our dogs. They end up on our cows. This is the middle of the jungle. So we were just able to see a tick. And it's this is real, right? It's this the is, mouth of a tick. And this, from the outside, a tick's <clears throat> mouth looks just like a piece of hair. You would never notice this. You look at a tick, you pull the tick out, it just has a piece of hair for a mouth. So Yeah, you can't see this. And so all we see is a ball of like blood. You take these things, you grab them, and you crush them, and blood pops everywhere. But now, so... Guys, this is a, the real thing. This is not a cartoon. It kind of looks like a cartoon. But like this is model, the... Yeah. yeah, this is, it looks like a 3D model or something. But this is an actual tick. Thousands of times of magnification. I don't even know how, how much it is. So, let's continue on with this. And uh, let's see what you guys think. What do you guys think, think that is? I'm going to say an eyeball, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong here. It looks like some sort of... I don't know, clay on the outside. It looks like clay with like... Is that a sponge? Is that what it is? I have absolutely no idea. Let's give it a run. Bubble chocolate. It's a piece of chocolate. What? Why is it green? Yeah, why well, haven't we done it? That's a moth. A silk moth sewing its blue compound eyes and large feathery antenna. The larvae of the silk moth, known as silkworms, are used to produce silk. All right. So, before we get into the next one, <clears throat> if you have younger kids, you probably shouldn't have them here. But we just saw a, the mouth of a, a moth. Guys, did you see that? You, have you ever seen anything like that? The, the, mo the moth? The moth. Yeah, thing. I mean, it definitely looks like a moth. That's definitely a moth. But it, I don't know. It looks like a 3D render. Why is this a real microscopic thing? <laughs> I, this guy has tons of views, right? I have no idea. He, he accredits a bunch of doctors to this. Who have these kind of microscopes that can see this really? Oh, he looks really detailed, man. Well, you know, look at it up close. We can't see this. 
right? Is All that we kinda, could, that looks like a leaf on a tree. I've seen look before. at those eyes. Uh, you know, those eyes are like what color is that? Blue. It's blue. blue. It's dark blue. And then what is that? His his across the top, like antennas. They look like leaves. They look like those. Yeah, uh, I've seen. A, there's a leaf that looks just like that. that that's the. Uh, What's that leaf? The the shame tree. Leaf yeah. that, that crushes uh, in the cup. That's not the leaf tree from here. But anyway, look at its hands. Look at it right there. It comes up and it's got hands. It's got two sets of like hands. A furry pet? Yeah, it's like a little furry pet. You would never know. You smash a moth or, um, you know, one of these little silkworm things and, and that's what happens. So, All right, so the next thing, gentlemen. Hold on. No snickering. This is a microbot grabbing a human sperm and carrying it into an egg to help with conception. In this case, a rotating magnetic field drives and guides the sperm bot in a screw-like motion towards an egg. After the sperm reaches yeah, the egg, scientists are able to reverse the motor to back it off of the sperm. <laughs> in addition to using the tiny motors with sperm, this also opens up the possibility in the future of using such technology to help other vitamins and medicine reach their desired points of destination in the body. Okay, all right so yeah that's that's that's, that's that was cool and a really bad thing that was using like nanotechnology you know to inside like, of your body that's crazy. yeah yeah and that's what they have and, and so the the the, the uh, medicine of the future is nanotechnology and that's what we'll that's do. not good all right so what are we looking at here guys let's let's take some bets on this what in the world is this it looks like something you find in the sea like a coral or something do i what do you i have no idea okay I want to go with a sponge again. I really want to go with it, but it's like some All sort right. of like clay putty thing. I mean, I don't know what the strings are. All right, I can't really intro. What have I done? I think that I don't think it's player. Picture on a petal of the purple plant. Oh, that's a plant. That is a plant. I ruined it. Reach their desired points of destination in the body. Same way. I'm killing it, everybody. Let's try this. The tip of a fly proboscis. Fruit flies possess mouth parts adapted for sucking and feed on plant juices. The tip of the proboscis has spongy structures and conveys liquid food to the mouth. Solid foods are dissolved in a drop of saliva and sucked up in the same way. Alright, I ruined this. I don't know what that means. Go ahead. Anyone? A close-up of a tasty and widely popular fruit, a blueberry. A blueberry. Look at that. So, uh, up close to blueberry. This is a T4 bacteriophage. A bacteriophage is a virus which infects bacteria. Oh, really the T4 virus infects E. coli, a bacteria that has been used extensively for molecular biology research. We have that monster running around as a virus? Yeah, have... so, you know, that's, um, this is up, you know, I don't know how many gazillions of times of viewpoints on this stuff, but this is, this is what makes you guys sick, but you can't see it. And so down here, we in, in deep down south, we have these little bugs we call the noceums. And the noceums come and they go. And they, they literally come and go and they, they harvest you. And you don't know where they came from. And, um, you know, does anyone have anything more? There's not a day that goes by that you do not get bit. Yeah, they're just like, you get bit. You're like, what was that? And you never see anything there. Because, I mean, you'll feel it there, but you don't see it. You don't see it anywhere. They're like so small. Yeah, and there's fly season and there's noceum season. And... Um, there, I don't think I have gone through a day without being bit by something ever. Anybody? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm still it's really small. Pro this is probably a lot smaller than that, but. Yeah, there's a lot of little things that we never even know that feast on us down here. So, anyway, this is cool. Let's continue on. A filament from an incandescent light bulb. Was, uh, Def definitely not yet made. of a human fingerprint showing details of skin ridges in the outer epidermis. What? The small circular apertures on the ridges are the openings of sweat glands. Epidermal ridges occur on the soles and palms and they form a distinct pattern. Each okay, so that one I thought was very interesting because are we just like, <clears throat> is this dude really chapped up? Or is this what fingerprints really look like? This guy's going to go on to say that no one person's fingerprints are ever the same. Even identical twins have separate different kinds of fingerprints. And so this goes to, you know, creation. How is every, how is all, how is what we're seeing here? How's, how does it happen? Everybody has fingerprints. 
our fingerprints and our, our fingers, you know, those are when you have dust all over the place. They when, remember when like 70% of dust is human skin. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing right here. And so this is what skin at microscopic levels looks like. And so when you need to use corn huskers lotion or something, it's probably these times, I would imagine. I don't know. I don't know. If oh, his hands look really bad. Anyone, anyone want to like go into this and about you know how how, how is it every one of Yaw's creations are different? I was gonna go get <coughs> like a granola bar or something. Yeah, Dude, yeah. It was it was just. I mean, every creation is different. He knows he creates everybody individually in their own special way, and I guess that's why uh, everybody has different fingerprints. Everybody has different. Everything's different about them. Like no snowflake is the same. I don't know if we'll see any in this video. We might, but. No, but I mean, yeah, how, how, so far, I mean, have I, have I, has this guy proven creation? I mean, how, I think the so. little, little crazy moth heads and things of this nature, just microscopic designs. It just like, appears out of a big thing in the sky. Yeah, I mean, all we, all we see is like a little thing hitting an electric, zzz, and that's it. But these things have faces and hands, and they probably scream, too. The fingerprint pattern is unique to an individual. Even identical twins have different fingerprints. A cross section of a chicken egg shell shows the hard mineralized egg shell and the inner fibrous membrane. The hard mineralized egg shell contains calcium carbonate mineral crystals that form many tiny pores in the egg shell. The egg shell's inner fibrous membrane is composed of protein fibers. All right, so there you go. There's oh, some. What is yeah. that? Yeah. That can't be real. So somebody had to sit down and design this somehow. Right? How can you guys let's give me some ideas what you guys think Yaz's lab looks like? I mean, he so he something sits crazy. there. He, he it's obviously something that, you know he can. I don't know, did he have multiple tries or just do it one try? Like I mean, look at this thing. Okay, I, I think I know what that is everything Maybe. has a purpose on all of this stuff, and look at look at the little hands on this thing. Which, where's its face? Is that its face? I it's don't know. Thing. I think it's right here. I think that's part of its mouth above the top. But I mean, look at his little hairs. This thing is like creepy looking. Honestly, it's a spider or a fly. Uh, that is very, whatever it is, is very, very creepy. And I can't remember should, what it is. Should stay away from that, whatever that is. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's going to be something we know. Here it goes. A processionary moth caterpillar found in South and Central Europe. Which can cause skin irritation and That's asthma. it. That's the one that took me to, yeah, he is evil looking. I knew they were evil. All right, so we actually may have experience with that last thing because Cade had a uh, the uh, caterpillar that just owned his arm, and Nicole has my wife has had a uh, one that took her arm as well. The moth caterpillar—they are vicious. They look okay, so they look like little furry birds, like far away, like normal view, but they look—they look really creepy close up. Yeah, and they uh, they attack as you walk through like the brush and stuff. They somehow end up on your you, and you try to to uh, they go through your clothes, mm -hmm. and they immediately crush your it skin. It really hurts. All right, what in the world is this, gentlemen? What is Maybe this? Maybe a honey pomegranate. Maybe. Pomegranate. Look at look at the creation of of your stuff. I mean, look at look at this. How long did this take him to do this? I mean, for real. Jade, yeah, scoot over a little bit so we can get Eli up here. Okay, so. Here we go. Is everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Let's hit it. What is this? All right. Who I had to guess is? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Eli, what'd you say? Okay. Um, from my view, it looked like a honeycomb, but now it looks more red, so probably pomegranate. Yeah, all right. Okay, do you have anything? Strawberry? All right. I don't know. This is a tomato. Oh. Wow. Who would have thought? Yeah, I guess that's where all the seeds would live, huh? Those are pleasant food. No, it's like all the pores and stuff. This is a yellow one. Alright, new one. Gastric mucosa from the middle part of the stomach with some adhering mucus. The epithelium of the gastric mucosa consists of only one layer of highly prismatic cells. The cells are firmly connected to each other by tight junctions. Numerous mucus producing secondary cells are scattered in the epithelium. The mucus of these cells and the mucus of the stomach glands protect the epithelium from the gastric acid produced in the stomach. All right, so that is like something out of our stomach, right? It's some sort of gastric acid. 
So, like, when you guys, um, you know, like, when you, I don't know, blow chunks or just blow, blow up or, you know, whatever, puke is the right word, um, this is probably what's coming up. Is this really reeky stuff like this would be my guess. I don't, what it colors this stuff over here, folks? Like, like light blue. Light, like a gray <clears throat> blue mix thing? I mean, this looks crazy. What do you guys think? Look at this. Oh, look at it. This, it's like, this is a part of Yaw's creation, how it works. All of this stuff is somehow it mixes together and it, it creates stuff. And this is a vision up close. It just there's there's tons of detail to everything in life. It's not just when you look at it up close. It's crazy. Take a look. A close up of a mechanical pencil. Crystal growth between electrical solder joints causing electrical failure. Ah, oh, guys, I'm sorry. That's my bot. I have a bot and he's doing stuff that bots are doing. All right, sorry, that won't happen again. Okay, so the last one was a mechanical pencil. Cage, you have a ton of experience with mechanical pencils as an artist. What, what did you think of that? The end that of was it? much uh, bigger looking than I thought that was going to be the end of it. I mean, it's really small. Uh, that was uh, It's a super fine little piece of. Uh, I don't think graphite. it's graphite. Is it? It's like, yeah, it's, graphite. It, it's, yeah. Yeah, it used to be lead, then it started to poison everybody or something. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think of this is? This looks like some kind of logos or something for like Rome, Roman. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's like an electrical thing. Dude, I don't know. This could be, this could be like. Okay, so the question is, is, there, is it man made or is this ya made right here? I'm going to say this is him man made. This, this is complex. This is Look at this. Made. Look at this. There's complex stuff everywhere. There's like, uh, Cage taking over the phone here, uh, the tablet. Um, I mean, this looks extremely complex. There's Honestly, it looks like looking like ice, like a little park with like dead trees. But if we were to design something, how would we even come close to figuring something like this out? Like whatever this is that it does. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. It could be like—is this like a chunk of concrete? I don't know. Here we go. I think it already played it when the notification came up. Oh, we got burned. It said something Small about electrical yellow. something. All right, we got to go back. 549 is where we're at. I see, and it doesn't play. Right. Silver crystal growth between electrical solder joints causing electrical failure. Wow. This is human stuff. What? Is that solder joints? Crystal growth between electrical solder joints causing electrical failure. Oh, wow. So is that okay. like corrosion? No, that's like a piece of solder. Like if your solder joints have broken, look at that. That's the yeah, strands of like the solder. Ones. So that your solder pieces all turn into uh, uh, like line, like pieces of wire. That's really why wild. Your shorts out. Yeah, that's why your crap shorts out right there. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. That's cool. Small yellow grains of pollens are scattered on the petal hairs of a marigold. Potted marigold florets are edible and used to add color to salads or as a garnish. The flowers were used in ancient Greek, Roman, Middle Eastern, and Indian cultures as a medicinal herb, as well as a dye for fabrics, foods, and cosmetics. All right, so they use this as an herb. So some of them smoked the yellow stuff or did something with the medicine stuff. Then it was used for colors and dyes. Uh, did you guys catch what the yeah, thing was? Yeah, like it's like it's a flower. It's a marigold, but it was like the pollen. Those were where all the pollen comes off of. Yeah, so when bees actually come and like drop things off and things are, you know, this is why I think that you can't, like kind of barren, though. you can't cross-pollinate plants or you're not supposed to have different kinds of seeds from plants together because it, the bees will come and it'll drop like pollen off, like something like that. All right, let's continue on. A single strand of human hair. Hairs are made up of dead tissue. The outside of the hair, the cuticle, is covered in overlapping scales that protect the hair's central cortex, which is made up of the fibrous protein keratin. 
right. So there you go. Human hair looks nothing like you would imagine. What did you imagine human hair look like? A little round thing, maybe. Yeah, a little. Yeah. So it's like, that's why hair breaks or things of this nature. It's all jacked up. That does not look healthy. Yeah, you know, it probably needs to be back of an armadillo. Conditioner hit back of an armadillo, or it could be like, who knows? Who knows? But I mean, this is how, how would you cre- be a creator that creates this stuff? And I mean, it's dead skin cells, so here we go. Perforation from the edge of a postage stamp. Is a postage stamp? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's wild. Refined and raw sugar crystals. The smaller crystal is refined. Look, I'm going to put it in order. <laughs> Why does he this like is Nereus huh? sandersi, a type of deep sea worm found in the hydrothermal vents 2,630 meters below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, he's huge yeah. Stay These deep worms sea. feed on bacteria that live directly off minerals released by the vents, a process bacteria. known as chemosynthesis. Check that out. He's, so yacht, here's yacht. Like, okay, let's let's create some creatures on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, but all this crazy stuff you can't see, right? This is the stuff that you can't see unless you have a. You would never be able to see unless you have this kind of technology. You would never be able to. Yeah, the craziest creatures are the things that Yah has. Look at that his mouth. That, that could be. I mean, something. if something came up to you in real life like that, you'd probably run for your life. <laughs> yeah, like I said, he should stay in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, look at his, look at his antennae. Look at across the top of his head. It looks like little carrots. And his, he has like little feeler hands and there's like no teeth. Why did he move? <laughs> Look at his eyes. Looks like cinnamon rolls. I mean, this could be a clay, like nothing. This guy could be totally pulling our legs with this. But it says it's 47 times magnification, which I don't know, it doesn't seem like a ton, but I, I don't know anything about this. Anyone comments on the, I don't know, what's this thing called? Bill? Oh, <laughs> Bill. Bill the bug. It's no. like a minute. It's like yeah, a little yeah, build a bacteria. Yeah, build a bacteria. Don't mess with Yaw's bacteria. They mess you up. They look evil, man. It does uh, look... He looks, he looks more... him and the other one. Dude, if he could, like, talk, like, really smooth... Hey, hey guys. You would go, oh, hey, man, you look scary. <laughs> that's got to be, like... Oh, that's a... Br- that's a, a close-up of a mascara brush. Oh, I was going to say, uh, Just wash your brush. Uh, it's pretty close. It's not as close as it could be. A cross section of blade of grass. The smiley faces are channels that water is drawn up through. Check it out. It's happy grass, man. Every blade of grass is sitting there smiling at us. I don't know when we cut it, it just gets sad. I don't know when it cuts us, does it become sad? (laughs) <laughs> you like I cut by the blade of grass the other day. We all get cut. The grass here is like gnarly. It's like sharp. But yeah. it smiles. He made something that smiles, and we didn't even look know at it. that. Well, yeah, we, it's happy grass. Everything around here, the cows must be happy when they're eating the happy grass. I wonder if they're sad when we chop them down. I mean, how is that? Look at that. Every little corridor there, and he says is where they drink the water. Hmm, cool. The water makes them happy. Yeah, I hope this is legit. I found this guy totally hoaxed me. Yeah, we I'm totally, totally bought. Yeah. <laughs> we probably have some misinformation. The video will be removed upon notification. <laughs> yeah, for sure, though. Uh, a blade of grass, guys. I'm, I'm, this is. This doesn't look real. Does this look real? Yeah, I don't it's know, like man. one of those mosaic paintings where they put all those little <laughs> the tiles. Kids, where they put all little tiles, tiles together. Kids painted this thing or something. Look at it. It's got little horseshoes. Watercolors. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, like like a uh, giraffe. Giraffe heads or something. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, well, let's just let's just go with the grass is really happy. Let's yeah, the grass is happy. There we go. These are white blood cells attacking a parasitic worm. The white blood cells are often responsible for fighting parasites and cancer cells, as well as controlling common allergies. That's cool. Yeah. So you, there we go. We, I were trying. To, I was trying to talk to you guys about this because for some reason the world has come down with a case of the AIDS. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to say, and that's all I'm going to say. But uh, this is what it is. The white blood cell count right there. He was trying to take out this parasite, right? Look at that thing. 
So these are things we get all the time that I guess we would be able to take out. So white blood cells eat him? So Yom knew that we were going to get stuff inside our bodies, so he made these things called the white blood cells, an army of little itty-bitty things you can't see to basically destroy the parasites. That's why he made all food cling, and we can eat pork, because we have these white blood cell counts. And no. when Messiah died, we got more white blood cell counts so we could defeat the evil that comes from the pork. Nope. nope. That isn't it? No. no. Not at all? No. And never... Physician heal thyself. <laughs> <laughs> Physician heal thyself. Good. All right, so anyway, that's a parasitic worm. Look at the size of that sucker. And look at this, these blood cells. I mean, this is nothing you'd be able to see. This looks like a cartoon, right? It looks like a bunch of little round circles. Ants eating a snake or something. Yeah, ants eating a snake. And they, they do do that. That does look like something from a big picture. But this is if this is really tiny, which you would never even be able to see this. I mean, this wouldn't even fit in the, the finger. It wouldn't fit in your finger. It wouldn't fit in a drop on your finger. This is very, very, very small. Like a this. A tiny worm makes you really sick. Yeah, absolutely. That's why you don't eat swine. They totally smoke you like this. That's why William Worm sits in the pig, and when he eats you, you become William Worm. Well, yeah, and they have not. There's there's Willie and Wanny and all. There's like fifty thousand kinds of different worms. There's lots of worms. Pigs aren't just like one worm. They they carry all sorts of stuff, and they live with it because they were built for that kind of stuff, right? Because they're they not, have the strongest white blood cells. Yeah, they can go through and they can eat the carnage and the stuff that is already polluted by worms and things, and it doesn't mess with them at all. It's just good grub. <laughs> Smoking him. Think he's school. But he's gone. I don't know. Dude, that one looks like a win. Definitely a win. All right, anyone? That's like an open cacao. anther, the pollen bearing section of the male reproductive part of a flower called the stamen. Oh, uh -huh. look like a cacao. It what? Like a cacao. It's like the cocoa beans. The cocoa cacao. Nah, this is like. A little, oh, check it out, anyone? Seen okay. here are the nylon hooks and loops of a Velcro. Okay. That's why Velcro works, because they're all hooked up. Ooh, Six, who one day decides they're going to make some hooks that's all going to make some know. tedious work? Yeah, Theodore Velcro. What's this? These are <laughs> two-day-old zebra face larvae. Zebra face larvae. Okay. Wow. That uh, doesn't look like a zebra to me. That looks zebra face. Looks like a koala. So a zebra face must be some kind of fish or something, I would guess. I don't know. But it, that um, looks creepy. Man, they got, man, the underwater things have some wild faces. Yeah, you better know. That's why, you know, you can get really gone. That's why we swim swimming. in the public pool and off the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we stay on the land. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, there's the, they don't, you don't want to swim in the pool because they throw much, so much chlorine yeah, in it. Yeah, These things are all totally dead. Things. These things are dead, but so are you if you're swimming around in po poison. So look at this thing. Eli, what do you see? It looks like, uh, like like what? ghosts, <laughs> yeah, they're like ghosts or something. It looks they like. look, man, they look like uh, I don't know, man. They got one of those crazy faces going on, like they're ready to like scare you or something. Like go boo. I was thought like Hollywood had like the cool designs and stuff like this, but I, you know, look at look at the dude on the right. Look at the homeboy. I think he might be the older. It looks like a bear. Yeah, it almost looks like a bear. I don't know where you're getting a bear out of that. You don't get a bear head. I see, I see I see a look, yeah, it looks I like the bear head. Cool. Yeah, it needs some air. ears. Yeah, no, that thing is crazy. All right, let's. Continue on. Some snow crystals. There you go. There you go. They look like snow. They look sure. Wow. Look at that. Oh, really? That's like plastic. Look at this stuff. Alright. So, that does not look real to me. And I guess that is the world up close because we can't see anything like that. Right, all these fabrics of everything that we have are made of stuff like this. Look at this. It looks like, it looks like uh, one of the uh, Transformers faces. Yeah, maybe. Are they done something here? Are they like hoaxing us? This is a hoax. I don't. Think it looks so. like plastic. Like the pe the piece right here on the left. I know. Really we don't plastic. watch Transformers. We just I've seen these cartoon of that dude or something somewhere. All right, let's roll on. This is what Whoa. cotton fabric looks like up close. Cotton fabric up close. This is what cotton looks like. Like, yeah. but they intertwine the cotton, right? And so this is if you if you could zoom in on your shirt, this is what it looks like. So, I guess this is why you guys break holes in your stuff all the time because the cotton fabric is weak. They can't hold it together anymore. <laughs> they can't hold it together. Yeah, it's taking too much farm life. All right, let's roll on. Yeah, I'm going to be... 
a close-up of kidney stones that are usually formed by the precipitation of the mineral salt calcium oxalate from the urine. The resulting hard round stones may cause severe pain, especially as they pass down the urinary tract. Large kidney stones may need to be surgically removed or broken down using ultrasound therapy. Yeah, baby. You don't uh, want that. <laughs> yeah, that's what you don't want. They're like sharp little sword and like, like there's a lot of like pointy edge looking ones. Oh, they hurt. Yeah, it's when you get rid of the kidney stones, it is everybody that's ever had them, it's just a horrible, horrible thing. It's it's a life changing event. You all you never forget the time you have kidney stones and you know, thank thank God that so far so good. I don't know why you get them, but um, I pray that this, we don't get them because we ain't going to no doctor. Anyone want to go to the doctor? No, sir. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Why not? For man? an undisclosed reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're... Uh, There's natural ways to get rid of them. And they're, yeah, Nicole's back. There's natural ways to get rid of them. So, all right, let's continue on. All right, this the is... The bright a, red pollen of the colt's foot flower. It's the middle part of the flower. Look at that. Like, the surface of a long playing stereo record with a scratch across the grooves. The grooves terrible. are cut into a flat disc of polyvinyl chloride. The nature of the groove varies with the intensity of the music. The straighter the groove, the quieter the music. The more wavy the groove, as seen here, the louder the music. All right, so this was back in the days. There, this was it. This was vinyl. This was the real deal, and everybody who's from that generation knows about the vinyl. And um, I mean, even to this day, they say it's not real good music unless it's on vinyl. Um, so this is a record. This is there's a needle that goes through that, and somehow the needle drags, and it's able to produce make that sound. voices. How did they do that before, uh, like SD cards and things? Hey, Edison, I think he was talking to Fallen. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. How do you drag a needle across and that's how you're going to make sound? I mean, somebody, like, tell me how that's going to work. I don't know. I think with a lot of our stuff, I mean, jobs, all this stuff, I think we got from Fallen Technology. I mean, those suckers were around back in the day. They were getting us in trouble with women's makeup and fire and all sorts of, like, sorcery crap. You with more advanced technology? Yeah, no, it just made us even more wicked. Here, so, watch this, boys. <laughs> yeah. Dental plaque on strands of used dental floss. Why is it purple though? That's my question. Hi, gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know if this dude's like jacked up. Why is it purple? What did he eat? This is the question. That's plaque on well, dental floss. Why is dental floss blue? Is it white? I don't know. I think it was white. Look on the outside. Of it. Like I think some inverse color thing. Like look, green. I think it it's it was white on the edges. Look at that. It still looks white on the edges. I think that's like this damage from ripping that stuff out of your teeth or something. I don't know. Red. Probably didn't they flash teeth a little warm? Dude, we totally got probably hoax. This is like it's, everyone's gonna go, hey, hey, this isn't real. But I think it is. So he didn't have many thumbs down too, and we can see that because we have uh, Vance. Google kicked Vance off the net. Anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's pretty nasty. That stuff that's in your teeth, gents. You guys need to brush your teeth more. <laughs> probably dental floss. I would imagine. You guys dental floss? Oh uh, yeah, sometimes. Once in a while, Kobe. Uh, Don't lie, video. I have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? I don't lost my pocket. Now. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold on. I'm calling my kid out. Hold oh, on, it's in their pocket. My bad. <laughs> Why would you have dental floss in your pocket? Because I lost my teeth. There's stuff in my teeth today. I'll be done. Okay. Teeth. I'm wrong. Okay. Let's, here we go. This microscopic shot is of human sperm. I don't need to go too much into that, gentlemen. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yo, all right. right. So. Next. <laughs> only, only two of you won the race. <laughs> Great. Uh, what is it? A banana skin magnified 200 times. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was going to look for him. Look at that. Is that the inside or the outside? It's the outside. Look at him. I've seen him before. Somehow. This is a water bear, also known as the tardigrade. And despite being a fraction He's of a really millimeter in length, it is almost indestructible. Mm -hmm. It can withstand environments as cold as minus 273 degrees Celsius or heat of more than 151 degrees yeah, Celsius. Or you could keep it without water for a decade, subject it to almost any kind of pressure. 
All right. I like that picture right there. Okay. Let's go over this dude. So he's indestructible. You can't you can't freeze him. You can't burn him. Yeah, he can uh, survive you can't see him pressure. Like, like he can like, go to the bottom of the ocean and survive the, pressure. The dude says they can go to space. I don't believe they can go into space like they say. So anyway, I believe the earth is flat as well. I believe the Bible tells us that. See what this dude is standing on. Look at him. He's got like eight legs. He's right, really he? small. He's like, no, no, is it he looks like he's legs wearing like, uh, like some like sort of clothes with all the wrinkles on him. Look at this. One, two, three. And then he's standing on a leg, right? Or is this his back leg? Yeah, I, I see four legs on this side. Yeah, yeah, I see four eight. legs there, and I think he has eight legs. Look at his little claws. I know. And he's got, like, and you can't see this is thing. He's like a parasite. Yeah. He looks like his space is being invaded. Like he's not really happy about Look at this. his eye, his head. Why does he have just an eye? Just an eye. Yeah. Maybe his nose. Yeah, who nose. knows? He may not even have eyes. You I... may not need them. He's too small. Man, it just looks so wild. It does. Look at his skin. Look, it looks like uh, almost the skin of a pig, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like but he look at he has he has some issues. Look at his legs. He has some like uh, craters in his like legs, so he gets afflicted with something too. Okay. He's got the rash. Yeah, poor guy. I don't know. I don't think these things are good for us, bro. All right, <laughs> <laughs> let's continue. Hashtag not clean. Yeah, not clean. Or send it into the radiation-filled vacuum of space, where it can survive beyond ten days without any damage. Uh, um, sponge. The surface of the shell of a hard shaped sea urchin. Sea urchin shell. They can magnified more than this. Yeah. A red blood cell squeezing out of a torn capillary. A capillary is the smallest type of blood vessel, often only just large enough for red blood cells to pass through. Red Alright, so. That is a that is one of the segues. This is why people have heart attacks, right? Because their arteries and capillaries get blocked. And that look at that. That is a a blood cell that is coming out he's of the side of that thing. Yeah, done. yeah. Well, he's he's going into somewhere, right? You, you, obviously, it's not good to have blood bleeding into your system. <laughs> yeah, they play that face. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Have, have, do you guys buy that? There's nobody that created this. I mean, no, this who did like... this? Who, who who? Look at the bottom of this thing. Look at the bottom of the screen. Look at all those like. Inside of the human, right there, there's like fibers. I mean, we trust in science, right? But Whoa. we do like that. Like, people they trust in science. Yeah, that's blasphemy, boy. <laughs> we don't like, trust. Like science you trust here. that, like scientists yes. are doing the right <laughs> thing that they can create all these things. But when you don't believe there's a creator, and you believe it just magically happened and appeared out of the sky. That's like literally impossible. Nothing's just gonna appear out of nothing. Yeah, and this stuff is, I mean, it's des It's obviously designed. There is. We're almost done with this, guys. So if you're still with us, thank you. It's, there's obviously a design here. Blood cells transport oxygen from the lungs to body cells. The oxygen transfer occurs in capillaries, where carbon dioxide is also removed and then taken to the lungs for exhalation. Red blood cells are the most abundant cell in the blood. They have no nucleus and are about 7 micrometers across. So we breathe in. We breathe oxygen in. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Somehow, when we breathe this air in, it is converted in our lungs to something that we can use that functions and keeps us alive all at the same time we could take a big jar like a cup of milk and take a big old swig of this as we're breathing we don't choke we don't fall to the ground we don't get milk in our eyes we don't spaz out and do crazy stuff right we are completely able to function and move in a understanding way i mean we are our own people and i think the the design of giving us not just free will, but giving us a conscience. And not just a conscience, but a conscience of, that is able to make decisions. Right? You guys go to bed and you guys think about things at night. You you plan things. Our brains are like this high-powered, huge functioning computer that people will never, ever be able to understand. And it's better than any computer that will ever be out there. And we don't we don't understand anything about it. But, you know, we are uh, we're out there with like Elon Muskrat, you know, jamming needles in people's skulls and things of this nature. <laughs> So it, it, it's, it is what it is. Uh, An acoustic guitar string. Oh, the colors only seems a little weird. I guess they're my favorite color now. Hairball. These are dividing human cancer cells. We should scrape those up. Look scrapeable. All right, this totally looks like a great dessert. Like if somebody yeah, it looks presented like, it looks like this ice to cream. us, it looks like ice cream. 
but knowing that it is a cancer cell dividing, that is pretty bad. That is a bad thing. This is a bad, bad thing. Look at it. Look at the tentacles all over the sink. Just like, scrape that up, man. <laughs> well, that, that's, what it, that's what infects you. This is what kills you, the cancer cells. And if your cancer cells divide... And, you know, what are these What are these monsters, the lab coats and the sending the snakes up the thing? They send a radiation into your system. It's like they send a nuke into your system. And not only does it attempt to kill this stuff, but it kills everything else inside of you. It's like this video I was watching tonight. They killed a little girl with, with cancer radiation stuff. It's all a scam. We've been scammed. We've been lied to all our lives. So don't get me going. <laughs> A Brussels sprout. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's a Brussels sprout, huh? Everything has a lot of pores in it. Yeah, you, yeah. So Kay just said you didn't hear that. Everything has a lot of pores. In it. Yeah, every look at the magnificent design of everything. It's all about circles and structure. Um, it it's we don't get a lot of uh, like triangles and squares and things in this nature. It looks like you know circles are the. Uh, are the designers, the creator's choice of building things and apparatuses and stuff. And then you got the Freemasons, they use triangles. Yep. Image of an ant leg magnified 1,450 times. Wow. Wow. All right, an ant leg. It is absolutely no wonder these little suckers can pick up like 100 times their weight. Look at that size of that thing. Look at the arm and under it. This thing's invincible. So when you can crush an ant, it, it, it still goes. It's not, yeah, it's armor. So this is what fourteen hundred times magnification at fourteen fourteen fifty times. So we we get to see an ant at one time. So at one thousand four hundred fifty times, look at this sucker. Look, look at the hairs coming off his arm. He's a, hairy, he's a hairy creature. He is a hairy creature. I wonder why. I wonder why they have hairs. Like hmm. that. I think it was something to do with the sugar that they picked up or something. It like holds the sugar. I don't remember. I mean, think. Look at it. Look inside of its in in. The, you see the uh, joints and everything. Yeah, inside the joints, you can see. Look at the little dots on the outside where the connectors and things are. It's just, it's incredible to to see this. And I think the ant has stuff over to the right hand side. There's stuff on him. Like there's white stuff over there. He probably picked up. But yeah, these things can carry a hundred times their weight. Look at them. They're buffed. They're buffed little creatures. <laughs> All right, roll on. We're almost done. This is a rapeseed leaf. A rapeseed leaf. Rapeseed, yeah. This time-lapse video shows neural stem cells in a nutrient medium over a period of four hours. The video reveals the dynamic growth and recycling of dendrites and synapses as neurons establish relationships with each other. The fly. A common house fly. It's All right. Flies. Yeah, we have a lot of these. That's definitely accurate. That's definitely a fly. Yeah, that's that's definitely. Look at him. Look at those nasty things. So gross. They are, and they're. Look gross. at those eyes. Look at look at the mag. Look at those eyes. They really do. They're all like. Uh, they have like uh, screens over the front of them. Wow. They can like uh, nothing gets in their eyes. I guess. Or what happens when they their their screens get plugged up? I don't know, I think they, I think they can see, like, like a, a little thing, like, a little, little hexagon in his eyes, or like, a, like, something he gets, like, an eye. It's like, eyes. kind of like a spider, I think. That'd be yeah. wild. Zzz. I would hate to see a thousand times. That'd be, like, some sort of, like, blurry That's thing. That's why it's hard to kill these things. They can see from all directions. Look at this one. His wing is a little owned. Look at the back wing. Yeah, exactly. They might have some issues. Take but his wing off for examination. Look how big he is compared to his wing. Those wings are really smaller than his body. How is he flying? How why, how is he able to take lift off here? Body isn't that much. I don't know, but look at those nasty little um, tentacle things like by his eyes that go up his nose. Disgusting creature. It is a foul creature. We have so many of these things around us. It's, it's like the plague of Egypt or something. <laughs> Grab this water. Yeah, we should go kill these things right after this video. Um, more of them. It's a gross. It his mouth. Like, it's like, you think that's his tongue sticking out or something? That's his nose, I think. And then down below is his, his tongue mouth. or something. Oh, I think down below is his mouth. These things just like run over and throw up and like eat their throw up and run away. Yeah, they throw up all over you. That's it's, really gross. I know. The flies are disgusting. Maybe we're cursed. Right, here <laughs> we go. A section through a roasted coffee bean reveals the internal structure. This bean contains the stimulant drug caffeine. This and other soluble chemicals are extracted from ground roasted coffee beans using hot water and drunk as a beverage. 
Wow, look at that. That's the inside of a coffee bean, a roasted it's coffee bean. Weird, man. It's crazy. Look at the Why structure. Why does everything have stuff. pores and craters, though? Why is everything like that? Uh, that that's how y'all created everything. Blood cell can't blood red blood cells or round blood, all that kind of stuff. Round eyeballs, round nose, round mouth, ears. Um, fingers. <laughs> All right. So that's the inside of a coffee bean. That's uh an image of the sound producing comb of the field cricket. The comb is rubbed against the underside of the opposite wing. Only male crickets produce the characteristic sound. So when you hear Dude, a cricket make sounds, they're sitting there and they're like That's it. Rocking those back and forth. Yeah, these yeah. bad little dude, we have these things. The the night. <laughs> they are. We have these things like all over the place, and I mean, we have Mr. Tambourine Man. You can probably hear him now. Here, kind of. Kind you of. ever hear any weird screaming or like like a very high pitched sound in the back of our videos? It's one of those. It's one of those bugs. Or the mice that have infiltrated us that we have to fight for our life with. Um, no, they don't scream like that. <laughs> <laughs> only on glue traps. All right, so this is it, guys. This is the end of the video. Um, I don't think. Yeah, this is this is the end of it. All right, so gentlemen, have I proven to you, or has this video proven to you, creation? Yeah, I don't think it's. No yeah, it's like, it's like everything has his own beautiful design. Everything is even the ugly little fly. He has his own beautiful little design. I mean, the cricket, for all we knew, like blew a horn or something. We had no idea what this thing did. Yeah, yeah, but trumpets. you can see this thing under his wings. He's sitting there like rubbing those up against the wing, and he's sitting there making like vibrating sounds. Yeah, with it. it is. It's, only the male. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the females don't make that horrible noise, so they're just out there doing the There's pregnancy thing or something. Females yeah, are allowed to males. live, the males are allowed to go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's not, guys. That's not good. That you sound like the World Economic Forum. So, My bad. Yeah, not so good. Cricket's got to go. Cricket's got to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it. Um, guys, much love to everybody out there. We're not going to do the tour video tonight. Um, obviously, we want to go through this, and I hope you guys found something out of this. Um, gentlemen, you have anything for anybody out there? Read your Bibles, pray with your family, uh, teach others, spread the word. Lead, lead the family, lead, a, lead your family and everything you do. And if you, if you're a wife that is, has a husband that is not Torah keeping, stay on him, stay on him at all costs because it it can cost you everything. And so there's nothing wrong. I don't see anything more manly than a Torah keeping man, and uh, there's nothing more stable than a Torah keeping family, and there's nothing more prosperous. Than a, than the 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 building of the foundation that Yah has given to all of us, which is the the family structure, and it's it's an amazing thing when put to the right use. And men be men, women be women, and um, lead your families. And I guess we'll see you guys when the kingdom comes. We're out. Shalom. Shalom.